Wellemeka, I called you for us to discuss as father and son. You remember the last time we discussed, I offered you the position of general manager of my company, mm. which you turned down. On the grounds that you were preparing for your marriage, uh, it's very understandable. And uh, you promised that soon after that you get back to me. But up to now, I haven't heard from you. So, what are your plans? Okay, Dad, thank you so much for everything. I really do appreciate for all the offer and all that, you know. I I really appreciate them, but I'm not interested in them. Meaning? Meaning that, I mean, Dad, all of us can't be doing the same business. We can't be in the same business, estate management. We can we can just put head in one thing, doing one thing all the years. We have to change that for tomorrow, okay? I really want to start off with what I read in school. I read art in school, Dad. I want to establish in what I read in school. I want to have my own company, establish my own company. My own, establish my own company. Mix technology system company. You know, printing, making of billboards. Okay, that, that is what I want to do. Have my own company, have my own art gallery where I will showcase my artwork, photo studio, and all that. I think I understand where you are driving at. Uh, you want to be a man of your own, an independent entity. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, but what you've just mentioned uh, is capital intensive. I hope you know that. I know. I know. Mm. Anyway, never mind. I'm equal to the tax. Uh, you know that my building by the junction there, the one opposite the NNPC Mega Filling Station. I know. Take it. Yes. Uh, I'll give you 250 million as a startup fund uh, so that you use that to assemble your equipment overseas. Oh. Uh, yes, I want the best for you. <laughs> this is your home. Daddy. <laughs> you are now in your father's talking. house. Yes, now you're talking. This is exactly what I want to hear. Yes, yes let me browse some machines on, um, on the internet. Uh, I want and thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Does it look like I'm lying? Everything I said, I heard and I saw myself. That that gifted and make her the newly built house I'm telling you. and gave him 250 million naira exactly. to set up a business. Then how about me that has been his administrative manager okay. suffering for that company to rise and, and make more money. Okay. He left me with nothing. I said it. I said it that the boy in Mecca is a gold digger. That stranger, he has a purpose of coming into this family and he has fulfilled it. I said it. Mom has been telling us, but we are not listening. Now you can see for yourself. Wait, to mommy. Are you trying to tell me that dad gave Emeka a whooping sum of 250 million naira? I'm telling you. And the new mansion to establish himself? Of course. Mommy, are you serious? <laughs> I won't lie to you. Beautiful! Super amazing. Mommy, that is how a good father behaves. Yes! Ah, ah. Yeah, Ada. Are you okay? Are you out of your senses? Ada, 
of my senses. What are you talking about? Can you listen to yourself? No. I am very okay. Obviously, you are the one who is out of your senses because I don't see anything wrong with what father did. What exactly did daddy do wrong? I am asking you people now. Are you crazy? Why the gang up? Because my father gave our own brother who he brought into our home and introduced him as one of us. Something to settle himself for life. And you guys are getting provoked. What did father do wrong? Because you guys are making it look as if he's done the unthinkable. Honestly, I'm not part of this gang up and I will never be. So you people will know. Yeah. Mom, something is controlling your daughter from the inside. She's not okay. You can listen to her, the way she's talking. She's being controlled. You are the one that something is controlling from the inside. You are all been now. And that you listen to me. It is my birthright we are discussing here. And if you don't know anything, you better keep quiet. Keep quiet. Or I will seal your mouth for you. I've had enough of your nonsense. What's wrong with you? I swear to God, mommy, one heart. You have said it all. Money! Listen, I'm happy people go. Mm. Are you crazy? That is all you know how to do. Or only people are that. You will jump out from nowhere. But when it gets to you doing your, your, your first son duty, you will not do it though. Enough. You will push it to her. That, That's you it. You will push it to me. That's it. She your time has good. expired in my room. Now get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, what did I do wrong? What did you not do? Get out. I'm leaving you you're because you're just my only daughter. I will just break it into 48 pieces. Mom, let, me, get do, out. let me do that for you. Leave I should push her out for you. Leave her. Get out. Go and push your fellow men now. If it's at everybody's muzzle, we'll just... Don't, 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 get out! Ah. You will beat me if I want to pass. I said get out! I will not beat you! Leave this place! Say, oh! Leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. You see how you're happy, You're happy, you're going so... Happen me, happy, happy. Mommy, you need to talk to dad. I won't take this. It's your mom. I will not take it, that, mom. I will not. What is this now? And like I said, wait! I'm here. What is the problem now? Everything is a problem. You have a big problem. You are my problem in this house. What did I do? What did I do? You did everything. What is your mission in this house? Let me ask you. Are you here to destroy this family or what? Because ever since you came into this family, my husband and I are not the same again. Now, what is your mission? I don't just understand what you're talking about. Don't pretend as if you don't understand what my mom is saying. Of course, I don't understand what she's saying. You must what's, understand. What's, what's going on? Where did you come out from? Mm -hmm. I've never seen you all my life. Mm -hmm. And you're here claiming for son. I don't understand. For son? Where did you and your mother did this charm that you are using to confuse my father that he no longer knows what he's doing? I mean... Answer. That is a beautiful question that needs careful examination. I mean, what is your mission here in the first place? Ever since you came, this family has been in constant violence. What is wrong with you? I am the admin manager in my father's company. He hardly pays me well. Fine, I understand because it's a family company. But he gave you 250 million naira to set up your own establishment. And he gave you the luxury of cruising around town with his favorite car. Tommy, don't worry. Don't worry. He gave you one of his houses. He newly, the newly built house. I mean, what is your mission in this family? If it is to destroy it, I promise you. You would not succeed. Mom, why would you even allow this stranger in in the first place? No, you better keep that question for your father. He will answer you when he returns. And you, whatever you call your name, what is that your name again? Emeka or what? Hey! Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You better listen to me. And don't you ever say a word again till I'm done. Don't you even breathe. I want you to leave this house. Go far. Go into Sahara Desert. Go and remain there. You and your mother. I'm warning you. And before you leave, make sure you untie my husband from the charm where your people are holding him captive. You better release him else. Maybe we'll go.
Auntie, are you actually threatening my mother and I? Yeah. Call it try whatever. As far as I'm concerned, this is my family. Yes, and no one is going to push my mother and I at all. In fact, no one is going to push me out of this family because I belong here. This is my family. You and your children cannot do anything. You cannot chase me out of this family because I belong here. Oh, really? Okay? If you do not have any important thing to do or to tell me, then allow me brief. And excuse me. Mom, are you going to watch him hey! talk to you like this? Hey, did you say that before me? If not for her, eh, Christ, I would have given you a dirty slap left and the right. And block your ear so that when you get to that office, you won't be able to hear nothing. I run up, okay? I am different. You're different? Don't allow me to push you. Nonsense. I'm leaving you because of God. Have a nice day. A frog all day. Ugly boy. You can watch this you guy behave like this. Rubbish. Drop on this car. Nah, allow me. Let him go. We can watch him. Get away. Off. It's your own you can win, Aka. Drive out now. I love you guys. Get out, too. Oh. Ugly boy. Auntie, you, you sent for Please me. Please sit, sit, sit. Of course. I sent for you because I want to talk to you. I, I hope there's no problem. There's a big problem. I'm just going to go straight to the point. Your husband, Emeka, is not my husband's son. I, I, I don't understand what you're saying. You don't? All right. Let me explain more. Emeka, your husband, is parading himself in this premises that he's a first son. He is not my husband's son. My husband doesn't have two first sons. As a matter of fact, my son Chuka is the only first son of my husband. So your husband should stop parading himself as a member of this family. He doesn't belong here. He's an intruder. Um, Auntie, are you saying that your husband is not my husband's father? Is that what you're saying? I've just told you something, so why are you asking me stupid questions? Your husband doesn't belong here. Your husband is not a member of this family. Oh, oh, I get it. <laughs> I get it now. You know, my husband is very wealthy. Mm -hmm. And your husband is claiming, you know, that my husband is his father for him to reap where he did not sow. And I'm sure you got married to him just for you to inherit the wealth as well. So why then did he move into this place? And why did your husband introduce him to the family as his son, his first son? If I were you, my darling, I would just go in there, pack all my things and live in peace. Because nothing, you will not get a pin. Neither will your husband get a pin. So I'm just trying to open your eyes. I don't believe you. I don't believe your aunt. My father-in-law has told me everything I need to know about my husband. He told me he had issues with the mother that was what led to their separation. So, I don't believe what you're saying. Excuse me. Then you're insane! You are obviously insane if you don't believe me. Keep parading yourself, isn't it? Idiot. White rabbit. Where is that stupid woman? Where is that husband snatcher that calls herself Christy? Christy, come out! Where are you? Stupid woman, just look at her! Look at you! Who is this fool just making noise here? I am the fool! Oh, you? Yeah! Wait a How did you get into this compound? Are you surprised? Who opened the gate for you? No, are you surprised that I'm here? Are you a witch? Yes, so somehow witch. 
that came to devour you. Oh, really? That came to suck blood out of you. Oh, really? Yes! Well, I don't even have time to entertain your useless and stupid question. But I'm here to warn you. I'm here to warn you because of Chukwe Mecca, my son. He told me what you and your worthless sons did to him this morning. Let that nonsense never repeat itself again. Else, I will show you the stuff I am made of. Christy, you know me very well. You know how mad I can be. Hey, don't say I did not want you. Do not say I, Joy, did not want Reverend, you. Reverend, keep quiet. What is all this? So you have come this morning to my house to feed me with insults. Now let me warn you, Joy. Let today be the first and the last. You will step your foot in this compound to insult me. Else, you won't like what I will do to you. Ewo, do you know who you are talking to? Of okay. course. Do you know that this is Joy? Have you forgotten so soon? Are you no more afraid? For Christy, have you forgotten? Forgotten what? Joy, I'm asking you, forgotten who? What can you do to me? Now, what can you do to me? Do what I can That's what I can do, you pussy cat. That's what I can do. Did you slap me? Yes! And if you open your mouth and say, I slap you again. Nonsense. I will eat you up, ah! I will eat you up, ah! Nonsense! Stay away from my son! Stay away, I'm leaving you! Because I'm holding a handset. If I drop this handset, I will give it to you, boss boss! Are you alright? Eh? Try it again! Because... Why are you Are you Keep it! Let's do it! You want to steal my handset? No, keep the handset! Oh, you want to steal my handset? Nonsense! Nonsense, you two! I know, man. Are you? Let me warn you. As long as you are in this house, do not allow this thing to intimidate you. If she tries nonsense with you, give it to her fire for fire. Are you hearing me? In fact, if possible, call me to come and teach her the best lesson of her life. Hey, now, you're it's listening enough. Enough. You're telling your white rabbit what to do to me. Ah. She's not even a match. I'll kill her. And let me warn you her. Sir, listen. Let today be the last day you will come into this house to slap me. Next time, if you try my boss, I will break your head. You're sending this one, white rabbit, to fight me. Ooh, that's how bitch you are. I'm telling you, I will kill you. You will kill who? One and we kill her. Rubbish. I will kill her. You want you to come and get in my skin? You you got got nonsense. Look, Christy, you are the cause of all this. How dare you? How dare you and your sons refer to Emeka, my own son, as a stranger in his father's house? How dare you? If it were to be you as his mother, how would you feel? Just tell me. I know you too well. You will resort to violence. You will even use a seed. Oh, I know what you're planning. Of course I know. So you are supporting her, right? You are supporting her. You and your son are planning to go and bring that woman back to this house. It would not work. Thank God. Thank God you know. Thank God you even referred to him as my son. Let me tell you, if I have my way, I'll bring back the mother into the Oh really? After all, oh yes. She is the gift that led the golden eggs you are now enjoying. Is that it? So what are you waiting for? I'm asking you, what in the world are you waiting for? Go and bring her back. Believe you me, I will shed this house ablaze. You're daring me? You're daring me? Well, let me warn you for the very last time. Let today be the first and the last day. You will refer to Emeka, my son, as a stranger. Because if you do, oh well. You know what will happen? So what will you do? Oh goodness me. I will have you thrown into the land. Oh please, you're talking rubbish. That's bullshit. What the hell is that? That's bullshit.
that you sent for us. Yes. <clears throat> Um, a joke and Obina. I want both of you to explain to me the meaning of what happened in this house this morning. So something happened? That what happened? I don't know. Obina, did anything happen while I was away? <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think so. Nothing. Two of you are big fools. Nothing happened in this house. Nothing that did anything happen in this house. I don't blame you. Your mother has brainwashed you. Imagine my son, your blood brother. You opened your mouth to call him a stranger. A stranger in his father's house. Dad, I don't understand. Among told us Obina is not our blood brother. So why are you superimposing it on us? Oh, where will you shut your mouth? I thought you were educated. Not knowing that all these noodles, all this indomie and all these things you have been eating has formed cutting wool inside your brain. There is nothing in your brain. Even you. Who calls himself a lawyer? Called to bar. What type of bar were you called? Is it Bia Palo Bar? Dad, Dad, come on. This is an insult to my personality. I mean, it's an insult to my profession. Do you have profession? Do you have person? What personality is in you? When we are talking of lawyers, we are talking of Mweke. Mweke, who is a senior advocate of Nigeria. Dad, you can't keep comparing me with the rest of them, Mweke and others. Oh, of course, thank God, you know you cannot be comparable to Mweke, who is a son. Mweke has practice in the appellate court, Supreme Court. Here you are, in your mother's kitchen. Kitchen lawyer. Nonsense. When I brought Obinna here in the first place, what did I tell you people? Uh, Dad, you told us he's your first son, but you didn't tell us why, how, and where. I mean, you, you need to explain more to us, let us understand how he became your first son all of a sudden. I told you that Chukwemeka came from my first wife. And your mother told you that he is a stranger. And you believed your mother. And let me warn both of you. Any day I hear any of you mention that word stranger in this house, I will deny you right of inheritance of any of my properties. Dad, you can't suddenly bring in a stranger into this house and tell me he's your first son. What will I now be? Your second son, then maybe Obina will now be your, your, your third son. It's not nice that at this age. Get out of this place. Dad, you've met. I don't know. Anyways, you should better explain to us how. Just look at this food. Just look at it. My story has changed. No place like home. My mind is settled. No more confusion. My son, all I'm saying is it is in your own best interest. It's for your own good. You are just you. Not only you, but Joker and his siblings, they are four. So you can't fight them. You see, I just want you to pack into that apartment I showed you. Leave this place. It is in your own interest. So that you concentrate on your business. Thank God I've established you. So that is not what is worrying you for now. All I'm saying it is it in our best interest. So that we have peace. That I've heard you. It's okay. I'll do exactly what you want me to do. Just that I don't I don't like problems. I, I don't at all. You know, I don't want my wife to see my family as a scattered family that always quarrel. 
Yes. But I don't know why Atikrisi is always the person causing problems between my siblings and I. Uh, well, that's women for you. The young man will soon get to understand all this. Uh, what I am saying is, is in your best interest and for the interest of peace in this family. Please try to make your wife understand. Eh? You must leave this place. Go to that apartment. It's okay, Dad. I'll do just that. Considering what you told me about the Dubai apartment, you saw. It's like a dream. Mom, so all of you are here feeling so relaxed. Why, brother, make us planning to leave this house? Where did you get that news from? You are not even about the fact that he's leaving the house. Brother, you are more concerned on my source of information. Okay, well. I overheard him talking to dad that he's leaving the house because of the way you people have been treating him. Is it me you're talking to in such manner? I can calm down. Wait, wait. You know one thing about you is that you 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 you, you talk too much. You know about okay speed. Jerigudi, you mean you overheard Emeka telling dad that he's leaving this house? Really? So finally, that stranger will leave this house and go back to that treached place he came from. If not that you're my elder brother, I would have called you a compound fool. You're crazy. I am totally disappointed at both of you. How could you have allowed mom inculcate this manner of hatred in the inside of you? What did brother Emeka ever do to all of you? I don't understand. What is even going on here? Ada, you already call him a fool. Anyways, the most important thing is that the stranger is leaving the house to... Just shut up, I am disappointed at everyone in this house. Look at you. Look at you. Mom, is she part of our blood? I mean, is she really my sister? Sometimes I just, I begin to imagine. No, talk to me. Talk to me. I, I want to hear it now so I can concentrate when I'm at work. Honey, it's about your stepmother and her children. Because I'm, I'm getting confused about those things. I thought we've talked about it several times and my father has also talked to you about this. Why the question now? I'm not saying I don't believe you. But you see your stepmother and her children, especially Chooks and Obina, the way they behave towards you, it baffles me. The other day, your stepmother called me. There is no kind of abusive words she didn't use on me. She kept saying that you're a stranger in the family and that Wilson is not your biological father. And you believed them. Babe, listen, let me tell you something. In a polygamous family, one person must be the problem just to claim what the man has. And that is what my stepmother is doing. So why did you leave your father's house and relocate to this place? I mean, you're the first son. You're not meant to leave your father's house and come live here. It's not right. Yeah, you're right. You're right, I know. But my father asked me to pack into this place. Very soon, I am going to take or claim what rightfully belongs to me. Okay? These people are looking for war. Serious war. But they will not get it from me. They will not get it from me. Meanwhile, why are you not going to work? I will, now that you've told me what I wanted to hear. Okay, I'm not waiting for you. I mean, you have your own car. And what if I insist that you take me to work? I won't do that, babe. You, you won't should. do that? Your own car. Really? You see your life. Please leave me alone. You see your life. <laughs> I'll All see right, you when I come back. Have a lovely okay. year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Darling, what are all these documents doing here? Well, they are uh, the documents of my newly acquired properties. You know? I'm just trying to update them. Are they not supposed to be in your lawyer's custody? Oh, yes, yes, you are correct. Uh, my, my lawyer is with the original ones. These are photocopies, I'm just trying to update them. How? I thought the lawyer is supposed to come and pick them as usual. Well, I have noticed that you have changed since Emeka came into this family. What has gone wrong with you? How? You suddenly changed. Always bringing in Emeka's matter into every discussion I'm having with you. What is it? Is Emeka not my son? Is he not entitled to my documents to know everything about my documents? Emeka is my first son. And besides, he is the person that will manage all my properties. So just know that I'm happy. Then why? Why were you lying to me? Man up and tell me that you're preparing all those documents for your son, Emeka. Well, believe whatever you choose to believe. All I know is that you're overstepping your bounds. What's the meaning of that? If you don't mind, I was so busy when you came in here. So please excuse me. If you're expecting me to go out, you're lying. Wait, see. Calm down. Give, your documents. Give you the documents. Am I eating it? Take your documents, Joe. You should be ashamed of yourself. If you don't mind, please excuse me. What's going on? I called you out here to ask you a question. Did your brother tell you anything? Anything like what? That he'd authorized his lawyer to will everything in favor of Emeka. Well, I don't know anything of such. And by the way, if I may ask, what is wrong with that? After all, Emeka is his son, his first son. So how are you sure of what you are accusing him? Of course, I stumbled on the letter in my room. I opened it. Lo and behold, it was an authorization letter, you know, demanding that the lawyer should change every ownership document in favor of Omega. He also attached his ex-wife, Joyce name in that letter. Listen, I'm not going to take that. I will not. Well, that's his decisions, Aunt Christy. You see, he is the owner of his properties and desire whatever he wishes to will his properties for. The one thing I'm certain and sure of is that my brother will not be so stupid, knowing full well that he has other children and a wife to will his properties only to a maker. It's not possible. Is that why you sent for me? Is that not enough for me to send for you? What kind of question is that? Oh, please. As you can see, I was very busy inside. Can I go? Of course, you're free to go, but all I want you to do is pass this message to your brother. Tell him, hmm, he is causing problems, so if he tries this, he's causing a big problem, willing everything to that total stranger, Emek, as far as I'm concerned. That boy is a total stranger. Now, listen to me, Christy. You see, Wilson is the owner of his properties. And uh, he decides whoever he wishes to will his properties to. But I want to tell you something. Calling a maker a total stranger should end right now. And I want to give you an advice that do not let any Ubaka's friends hear of this what they do. 
hearing that you called a maker to stranger, they will not take it lightly with you. But I want to tell you something today. And that thing is, if Wilson has 100 properties, I want to assure you that he's definitely going to will half of it to a maker and half to your children to share amongst themselves. I mean, that is tradition. There's nothing you can do about it. Please, Christy, if you let's kill Please get down. Old white rabbit. If something is wrong. No. I've been thinking. In fact, I want both of you to pack out of this house. What? Yes. After all, both of you are not supposed to be living with your parents up until now. It's not good. Emeka is no longer living here with us. He is happily married, living his life very well has a good business to himself. So what are you waiting for? I want you two to go to your father. Tell him that you want your own houses. Let him give you your own house and you to your own house and that's it. So once you move out, plan on how to get married immediately, you know, and start your own family. That's what I want. Yeah, I mean, I'm lost, Mom. I don't get any of the things you said. I mean, these are some things that would definitely happen. Why the rush now? You are lost. Of course, you've always been lost. Mom. As you're standing here, believe me, I'm not even seeing you because you're lost. I'm talking to your shadow. I mean, why do you keep asking questions like someone who doesn't have a future? Gosh. Chuka, I think Mom is right. Okay? okay, it's the right time for us to adhere to what mom is saying. Mm -hmm. Let's walk towards that. Okay, adhere, right? Mom is right, right? Yeah, I think so. I think, mom, can I at least think about it since you arrived? Excuse me. All right, <laughs> we will think about it. Okay. Sometimes I wish you were my first son. I'm not the other idiot. Chuka Lubin. So what you are now telling me is that both of you are ready now to start raising your own families. Yes, that Yes, It's a very good one. <laughs> and you want me to give you your houses? Yes, Dad, as you can see, Father, we are not getting any younger. I want to start building my own family now. Oh, that's very good. It shows you are now grown up. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, well, Choka, have you seen the woman you want to marry? Yes, Father. And you? Well, Dad, uh, we've actually been discussing so we've already concluded as you can see i want to see them bring them to me for interview after which marriage arrangement comes have your own houses Is that okay by you? Yes, Dad. No? Uh, her body's hot. Why don't you take her to the hospital? Yes. Dad. Where is where is Paul and Dad? Oh, we went to school and Dad traveled yesterday. God. I'm so sorry. Baby, let's rush her to the hospital. What are we waiting for? Yeah, 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 you're right. Get some of our things. Let's take her to the hospital. Okay, brother. Mm -hmm. 
Did you call that? Yes, sir. It's okay, it's okay. Just hurry and get her feet. Uh, Nadozia, you are welcome to my house. Yeah, thank you, Chief. Thank you, Chief. You told me that there is a beautiful flower you saw in my house. That's true. That you would want to pluck that flower. Thank you, Chief. That's true. And I have come. Uh, who is this young man with you? He's my son, Linus. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, young man? Chief. What do you do for a living? Uh, Chief, I'm a medical doctor and I base in the United States. Yes. That's all right. Mm. Uh, have you discussed with my daughter before now? Uh, yes, Chief. I've known her for like two years now. That's true. How come I've not been seeing you here? Uh, Chief, uh, like I said earlier, I live in the States, so I come to Nigeria occasionally. Mm, okay, it's all right. Um, darling? Yes? Please, come with your daughter. It's, uh, what do you mean? Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, this young man told me he is a medical doctor, uh, that he came from the United States. He is here to ask for your hands in marriage. Yes, Daddy, I. Yes. I know him. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so we are free to go on with preparations. Yes, sir. Very good. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, you've heard. Eh? Um, well, the ball is now in your court. That's the chief. I'm grateful too much. I um, appreciate. In fact, my heart's full of joy. Yeah, and uh, thank God that I'm going to be uh, one of your in laws. Thank you, sir. Please, we, you will look. Yeah, let us go and uh, prepare. We are coming. Very good. Yes. Uh, it's all right. Uh, we are waiting. Eh? Okay, Chief. Thank you very much.
है रोधा गुड गुड डे यस यस यू आर बैक फ्रॉम द हॉस्पिटल यस um she 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 she's getting better she's getting better yes the doctor gave her some drugs ah uh, that yes that 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 brought us home eh uh, tomorrow okay okay brother we'll be waiting for you I, i will please take good care of yourself oh i will okay brother Madam, listen to me. This is a poisonous chemical called thallium. This chemical is very dangerous to the body system. If someone ingests this chemical, the person will be dying slowly because it will be damaging that person's lungs and veins. The person will be also having loss of memories that he will hardly remember anything. or recognize anybody again this person's body system will be very weak that a person will hardly walk now the lab result can dictate the problem before 3 months if they conduct a lab result on this person all right but make sure that when this person dies an autopsy is not conducted if not everything will show So what you do is bury the person immediately. Do not let an autopsy be conducted on the disease. Money. Oh. And what will I buy for you? I'm gonna buy in any time. This is your salary for the month, an extra two months. But if you pay me in advance, I'm not asking for my upfront money. I know. I'm paying you this money out of sympathy. My husband said I should tell you that your services are no longer needed in this house. You are fired. Madam, what have I done wrong now? Eh, my dear, if I've done anything wrong, please forgive me. Eh, help me beg or God help. Eh, beg or God to forgive me, please. Eh, I've been a good boy, madam. Please. You have not done anything wrong. We are traveling to America and we'll be staying there for eight good months. Madam, that's not the problem. I can stay. I can. I can be cleaning the compound, taking care of the all these small small rats. I used to run around. I will just catch them, try to keep everywhere safe. You know. Hey, that's enough. We are selling this house. We are traveling. So, shush. Say the house, man. I'm gonna don't preach like that. I'm sorry. I, but I'm pleased you and I know now. There is there is no work in this country. Where will I go to from here? I'm used to this uniform, please, madam. Hey, my friend. Now you listen to me. I want you to go pick your rags in that place and leave this compound. I'm coming to lock my gate. Please let me just stay, please. Oh, the person that want to buy the house, can you just tell the person that you have a gate man that want to stay, please, please. an answer come this way my friend there is no need for you to count you know what right mother you're not buying anything is your salary for the month and i even gave you extra for two months for you to enjoy so all i need you to do for me is go in there pack your things your services are no longer needed Why, madam? Why have I done anything wrong? 
Sweetheart, you haven't done anything wrong. The truth of the matter is, we are traveling to America. Do you know America? My husband and I are traveling and we have sold everywhere. This whole estate we have sold everywhere. Unless you want us to sell you to. Ah, oh, madam, where will I find work in this hard country? Ah! Oh. <laughs> where will you find work in this hard country? Get out. Oh. Go out there. Follow them and hustle. Do anything. You can even do it for free. It's your business. I give you 10 minutes to leave this house now. Get ah, out. Madam, and what is that supposed to mean? My friend, get in there and pack your things and get out. I'll see more to In. One, two. Rubbish. How come you are the one serving me food? What happened to just feel our cook? Oh, I sent her to go get me something somewhere. Oh, really? Mm, that's not important. I eat your food, sweetheart. Do you know I came back today? Mm -hmm. Couldn't find the gate, man. I was the person that opened the gate. Did ah. you send him somewhere? I forgot to tell you. Mm. You won't believe it. I came out and I saw our gate man packing his things. I tried finding out what the problem was, but he refused to tell me. Rather, he said that he's done. He doesn't want to work for us again. Can you imagine? Just like that? Just like that. <clears throat> well, uh, let her um, You send for Musa to get us another gift, ma'am. I will do that. She's an evil woman, ready to fight anybody that crosses her lane. She's an evil woman, she's ready to fight, ready to fight. Mama, where is your heart? Full of Take a look at the way he's lying like someone they crucified on the cross. Rubbish. You said no. Now where are those documents? You said no. Are you looking at me? You are greedy. 
selfish. I know what you plan. What to kind do. of mother? What are you trying to do? Shaken, look at you, wicked man. You wanted to will all your properties, I mean half of your properties, to who? An imposter, a useless boy, a gold digger, Emeka. I will not allow it. Then, leaving half for my children, can't you see you are mean? Can't you see you are very, you are wicked? Rubbish. I will make sure Emeka doesn't get a pin from your practice. He will not. Now, where are your phones? Where does your nonsense hold? I will make sure he doesn't get a pin from your practice. I have sacrificed a lot for you. What I did for you, Emeka cannot do half of it. I did everything for you. I left everything I left myself for you. I gave you everything that you want to will this whole thing to Emeka. It no go work. No, what are you I'm taking out of them and I'm going to switch them off. Nobody will reach you. You will remain like this and you will die slowly like a chicken. Hey, keep your hand, Joe. What's all this? What are you begging? Rubbish, man. You will remain in this room till you die. I want you to die. Die, die. Look at you, die. Rubbish. What's going on with Brock Wilson? Switched off? Switched off? Let me try this. All his phones are switched off. I hope all is well with Brad Wilson. I mean, I've not seen him in the office for the past one week now. All right, let me try Christmas now. Let's find out. Chris is not picking her call as well. I think uh Yeah, I'm good. 
I've been trying Dad's number and it's not been going. I hope all is well. Oh. Oh, he went to Israel. Oh. oh. Now my mind is at rest because I've been so worried. I've been trying for like some days now. It's not been connecting. Okay. Okay. At least I'm relaxed now. It's okay. It's okay. I've been so worried, but now I think I'm okay. 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 Thank you. What's all this? I mean, I've been standing here for the past 30 minutes. Where is this gate now? Christ, is that you? Christy, mm -hmm. what's all these? Oh, what? I mean, I've been standing here for the past 30 minutes and no one is here to open the gate for me. Where is your gate man? So, I'm asking you, so what? Christy, well, my gate man traveled home. Traveled home? Mm. So who will be opening the gate for people that comes around here? Must you come? The question is, must you come? Oh. If you come and no one opens the gate, you stand there. Anyway, uh, that's by the way. I'm here to see my brother and to know why he has not been coming to the office and his phone switched off. What's going on, Christy? Oh, it's a bomb matter. Your brother traveled. Traveled? Mm -hmm. To where? Israel. My brother traveled to Israel? When did my brother start doing business in Israel that I don't know of? And then what kind of business did he go there to do? Christy, are you alright? What? Can you hear yourself? Are you alright? Christy! I'm talking to you, such a wealthy man. You mean he cannot travel to any country of his choice, is that what you're saying? Oh, for your information, from Israel, he'll be going to UK, from UK, Namibia, from Namibia, Kotonou, America. Most impressive, Christy. Anyway, uh, so why haven't you been picking your call? And whose call should I pick, please? Your call. It's all right, no problem. I'll take my leave. No, you better stay. Okay, big thing. Wilson. Wilson. Now look at you. Why are you smiling? Are you not supposed to die? Because of you, your brothers came here and fed me with insults. And you are here smiling like a smile, Agumbe. Just take a look at the way you are. I hate you. You look like a mad person. Die. I want you to die. You refuse to die. Rubbish. I will deal with you. I will keep dealing with you till you die. Rubbish. my phones. Uh, I can't find my phone. I can't find my phone. I can't find my phones. my phone now. 
I can't find my phone. To do something about Brother Wilson's whereabouts. I'm so worried. Kindly visit Christy. You know, both of you are very close. Get some information from her about Brother Wilson's whereabouts. Because I don't trust that woman. Vincent, you, you have a point. I just can't understand why our brother would just become a communicado for these months. I will try and check on her and. Uh, Find out from her. You understand? In fact, what am I even doing? Let me just, I'll go immediately. Uh, in that case, let me not waste your time. Yes, I will. I'll, 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 I'll get back to you. Oh, all right, thanks. Eh? I wish you good luck. Okay. Thank you. Where's my wife? Can't can't find me. I'm hungry. And everywhere is locked. locked from outside and I don't have the keys I can't find my wife I can't find the keys my wife is nowhere around I'm hungry please do me a favor get me a way that to cut the keys and buy me food uh -huh. okay chief I, I can uh -huh. actually see it locked from outside yes. okay, I'll go get you food but Chief, I thought I thought you traveled. I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll be right back.
What do you think you're doing? I'm asking you. What are you doing? And who is this lunatic you brought to cut my key? Christy, I haven't seen my brother for a very long time. So? Calling his lines, all the lines had not been working. And so I decided to come here to see if my brother is doing well. Mm only to discover that you were the one that locked him inside and almost killing him with starvation. That's why I had to call the welder to call the padlock so I can give him the food I went to buy for him. Was that what he told you? I'm asking you, was that what your brother told you that I locked him inside? As what? Now does this place look like Kirikiri prison to you? Are you asking me? Of course! Or I, sh or I should be asking you what happened to my brother. You locked him inside his own house and wants to kill him with starvation. What do you mean by this? I allowed your brother to stay in there because he's sick. Your brother can only come out when he gets better. For now he is sick, he should stay in there. Now, at a count of three, I want you to take that piece of trash out of this compound else i will call the police that will come and lock you people for trying to break into my compound now get out christy listen to me listen to me my brother is sick you could not tell any of his relatives you could not take him to the hospital all you did was to lock him up in his own house killing him with starvation and you're telling me all this? Now, open this gate. I want to see my own brother. Are you commanding me as what? You will not see your brother. No, you're not going in. What did I just hear you say? That I cannot see my brother? Of course. That's because I'm his wife. I have the right to say who goes in there to see my husband and who doesn't. Hey, you are not welcome to go in there. Now get out. Like I said earlier, I am going to involve the police and they will lock you up, brother. I mean it from what? Now get out. Now I understand that something is fishing. I go nowhere. Now you listen to me. I do not have time for this rubbish. I want you to leave this place right now, else I will use this cat and crush you. And I'm not kidding. Go ahead and crush me. All right. Yes. Push me. Come on, kid me. You are already killing our brother. You are, we are already killing our brother. You will not kill me. I will not allow you to kill me. And I was hungry, so I came out to look for what to Hang at my foot! Did I not ask you not to leave your room because you were sick? Now what is wrong with you? You have made your stupid brothers to notice that you're here. And they are insulting me, all because of you! Come on, my friend, come with me, Joe! Come here! Which foot do you want to... Come with me, Joe! What is happening? What is this? I'm dragging you like that? You must come! What's my food? Promise! Brother, are you sure of what you just told me? That when we said he's sick, and Chris is locked him up in the house without food and refused to take him to the hospital? Are you sure? Listen, I knocked and knocked on that gate. There was no one inside until I noticed someone walking weakly about the compound. 
When I looked closer, I discovered it was Buddha Wilson. So I screamed his name, screamed his name. He virtually walked to me at my gate. He begged me for food. He was hungry. Because his wife had locked him up without a single meal. And so he asked me to get a weather to call it and also to buy food for him. Then I left. By the time I came back, the weather was cutting again and I had the food with me. You know what? Christy appeared from nowhere and stopped everything. And so we could not get back to him. We could not give him food. For that, wait a minute, bro. Wilson did not travel. So Christy switched off all his lines so that we would not have access to him. Hey! Uh, what's the way to do now? I think what, whatever we decide to do right now, we should just go ahead and do it. Uh, uh. Yes. Hello, Emilia. Uh, how are you? And your wife? Uh, oh, it's okay. Uh, you see, Emilia, there's a situation of the Yes. Do you know that your father has been on sick bed for the past four months now? Do you know that Christy locked him up inside the house without food and refused to take him to the hospital? And refused any of our family members to see him? Oh, yes. I said, let me just call you now. Yes, we are the office now. We are living here now. We are living to. We are leaving the office now to the place. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, see you then. Uh, Mr. So Rada, it was a meter I called. So, you meet us then. Let's go. Hey! Jesse Lee! Jesse Lee! Brother Yanidi, what is all this? We've been standing here for the past 20 minutes, waiting for this woman to come and open gates for us. What's going on? This was what I went through when I came here. Really? Hmm. What's all this? Well, let her come here. Maybe she will answer you. Hey, are you kidding me? Will I am you? Now, what are you two doing here? I'm asking especially you. What are you doing here? Why didn't you tell us that our brother had been sick for months now? Tell you as what? I'm asking you as daughter what? Oh, you want me to tell you that my husband is sick? So you can go home and start praying for his death. For you to inherit me. Christy, mm -hmm. what sort of nonsense is this? What nonsense are you talking about? It's all right. We're not here to come banter words with you. All we want is open the gate for us so we can see our brother. Now before you people came banging at us gate like people that has lost of memory, I was busy inside doing something. So if you don't mind, you can chill out here while I go inside, excuse me. Brother, she just walked out on us now. Let's go. Let's go. Hey! Baby, all right, let me feed you. She's an evil woman, ready to fight anybody that crosses her lane. She's an evil woman, she's ready to fight. Ready to fight. Can you fight in the fork? What's that? Mama, why is your heart full of wickedness? Mama, why are you like this? Oh, mama, you can't get your mind. You can't fall to me. Oh, 
Auntie Christian, no. open this gate. Let me go and see my sick father. So my father has been sick and you refuse telling me. Is it nice? Or Hey, 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 hey! Your father said he doesn't want to see you again. I don't so get out. I don't understand. That's not true. It's true. That's not true. It's open true. this gate. Come That's not on. True. Hold on, Emeka. I thought you went to university, isn't it? Yes, of course. Okay. Why is it hard for you to understand simple English that your father doesn't want to see you? Is it hard for you to understand? And he opened the gate so that he can see his father. Open the gates now. Yes. Who just spoke now? What kind of mother? Why trap it you? Ah, you should be ashamed of yourself. Look at you. You got married to him. Eh? Thinking that your father-in-law is so wealthy. He is a gold digger. My husband is not his father. Pack your things and leave his house. I'll just stop this rubbish and open this gate now. I'll break down this gate now. Oh, you're breaking! My buddy, every single... Okay, watch. Hey! He's a criminal! Open the gate! Hey! Please! Please! She's an evil... Hey! 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 Don't you take your husband away? Hey! White rabbit! I'll break, I'll, break it, I'll break this gate now. I'll break this, this gate. Open this gate. Please, give me water to drink. You mean she also deprived you the access to the compound to see your father? There is no abusive word that she didn't use on me. She called me all sorts of names. Christy. Called my wife all sorts of names. Called her a gold digger. As she came to reap from where she did not sow. Emeka, you mean those abominable words proceeded from her mouth? Ask her. She's here. Yes, uncle. She said that. And this is not the first time she's telling me something like that. She always tells me to quit my marriage. That my husband is deceiving me that my father-in-law is not his biological father. Mm. Brother. Well, um, let's look at something else. You know, Christy is obviously lying. Of course. But why would a woman lock her husband in the house and denied other people's access from seeing him. And again, why would she refuse to take him to the hospital? That is what we should be happy on. Brother, something just came to my mind now, and I hope it's not what I'm thinking. What, what could that be? Excuse me. Hello? Mr. Maka, how are you? Why are you sounding like that? Why are you crying? What? That mama did what? Okay, okay. Calm down. Calm down. Where are you now? Okay. I, 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 I am coming right away. 
Okay. Honey, what is it? Emeka. Is everything all right? Emeka, please talk to us. What's going yeah. on? My sister called to tell me that Mama is dead. What? That's not possible. Not this time. Why? Emeka. Uncle, I will see you later, please. Come on, let's go. Why? Hey, brother. Why would such thing happen now? So just like that, mom is dead. Emeka, <laughs> my son. According to the doctor, said her BP rose too high. That before we got her to the hospital, she was already gone. There was nothing they could do. BP rose just a bit. Oh, Rebecca. Rebecca, <laughs> please do something. Oh. <laughs> Stop crying, my dear. This is, this one is gone. What is this now? Who would like all this? Hello? Emeka. How are you? I'm so sorry I missed your call. Uh, yes. It's all right. And secondly, Mika, I'm so sorry about the demise of your mother. I'm so sorry. When is her burial coming up? Next week. Wow, it's almost at hand. You see, Mika, I have to tell you this. I would not be able to make it for her burial. And the same goes to every family member. I'm so sorry. Uh, you see, Emeka, you know, we ended up everything with your mother. And uh, we've also refunded her bride price. So there's no way any of Maduka's family member will attend her burial. I'm so sorry about that. Please do understand. And uh, now that you'll be traveling to East, once you get there, locate Uncle Maduka, okay, and explain everything to him. Everything that's been happening between you and Christy. Just tell him. He will tell you what to do. And uh, I wish you I wish you journey mercy. Alright, Mika, please do take care of yourself. Bye bye. Alright. Uh -oh. Oh, don't you do? Oh, don't you do? Uh -uh. What's wrong with you? I've been calling you since, and you. you... Uh -uh. Okay. Take this money. Go to uh, my magazine shop. Uh, buy me the charge card 500 naira. Eh? I want to call your brother to know the reason he has refused to send the money. I asked him to send for the cement and the, uh, 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 and the sand. For the new building of the top. Hello? Hello, who is this? Emeka. Emeka. Which of the Emeka? Emeka Obaka, the son of Chief Winston Obaka. Hi, Jesus, who gave you my number? Vincent. Hi, that's good. Eh? So, where are you now? Uh, yeah, that is true. Yes, Vincent told me that your mother, your mother is dead. Yeah. So, you are the belly now? Okay, uh, see what will happen, eh? Once we are done with the belly, eh, I would like you to come to the village. We have a lot of things to talk. 
Uh, once you enter our village now, you, you, you ask people about uh, uh, your uncle, uh, uh, Ichia Madoka. Uh, they will bring you to my house. But the uh, magician fought you now that you don't know the house of your own, uh, your own uncle. Eh? That's why I said you people should come into the village. Eh? You should be coming to the village. Eh? If you, how are you sure I will, I, can even, I will even recognize you when I see you? Eh? Your, father, your father is not doing well though. But no problem. Uh, just after the burial, you come to the village. Yes. Okay, 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 no problem. I'll be expecting you. Uh, okay, now I'm going bye. Hi. Emeka. Emeka. The son of Winston of Hi. God, I thank you. So you mean all these things have been happening since you returned back to your father? And not up to now, nobody told me anything. Until now that your father is sick. And that evil woman refused that nobody should see your father. Including your, our relatives and you, his first son. Uncle, I've been wondering, you know, I've been, I've been thinking, how could my father be sick and give an instruction? that he doesn't want to see anybody, including the son or any member of the family. I, I, I am surprised. I, I don't really know what to do. Don't worry. I will tell you what to do. Hmm? You're here. I will tell you what to do. Because I am suspecting that that Christy has a plan. He's up to something. Something like what? Your father's wealth. Because... Chris, you already know that if anything happens to your father today, all your father's property will be divided into two. And you and Mecca will take half of the property. Then Chuka will take the remaining half and share it among uh, his brothers. Chris knows all these things. That is why she is doing what she is doing. Hmm. Hmm. I've been wondering since I came back. You know, she has been saying that I'm not my father's son. Even lured her children in the beginning, telling them that I'm not my father's son. She has been saying that, that Chief Wilson is not my father. Mm, no wonder. I am not surprised if she said that. This, I know, can even say more than that. I am not surprised. But don't worry. Uh, thank God you are back. I will tell you everything you need to know. This is why I keep on telling you children. <laughs> to be coming home. Whatever you are doing, you have to start from your village. That is where you came from. Eh? But don't worry. Uh, I will take you around the village. Let's start from there. I will take you around the village to introduce you to people that matters. People that you're supposed to know okay. and people that are supposed to know you. Okay. Eh? Hmm? Don't worry. And then um, I will also take you to the Igwe and introduce you to him. Even the people that follow to marry your mother, even before you, 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 your mother gave birth to you, all of them are still alive. I will take you to them. And they have more things to tell you. They have more things to tell you. Some, some, something that you have never had since you, you were born. Uncle, I would really appreciate if you do that for me. Okay? Don't worry. And the things that my father did not do. Uh -huh. Um, I bet you come. This is uh, that your uncle. Uh -huh. uh, that that uh, I called on phone yesterday. He is uh, the son of a uh, 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 chief Wesley. Okay. My daughter. Uncle, you're welcome. How are you? I'm so happy. Uncle Kira. You can check over. Can be easy. Okay, you're welcome. Bro. I'll go and uh, prepare something for me. I'm hungry. And uh, your uncle, too. Hurry up. Oh, my God, boss. Yeah. Okay, well, uh -huh. Like I was saying, all the things that my father did not do for his brothers, I am going to make it up to them and see that the family of Ubaka is well to do.
Eh, it's a madoka. No, go back. Please let me understand you clearly. You mean this boy sitting here, this big boy sitting here, is Chief Wilson's son, Emeka? That little boy of yesterday. Ha! Huh. Yes, he is the one. He is Emeka. That is why I sent for you to introduce him to him before I take him around the village. He is back now. Exactly, exactly. If you look at him very well, you will notice that he is his father's carbon copy. No difference. Ah, hey, big boy, my son. Once again, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. How is your father, Chiwisin? Uh, my father is fine. No, 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 no. His father is not fine. There is a problem. What? A very big one. Tell the chair what is happening. He is one of our king's men. Tell him the truth. Uh -uh. Is there any problem at all? Actually, there is no Wait, problem. Wait, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Just save yourself this stress. I will help you. Yes. There is a problem, like I said, a very big one. And that problem is that our brother, Chief Wilson, is very, very sick. Very, very sick. And that evil woman called Chrissy refused to take our brother, Chief Wilson, to the hospital. And even refused that nobody will see him, including our relatives. And even this in son, America. Why? Ha. That woman. Why, is, why, why, why must he say a thing like that? My dear son, let me tell you. You are Chief Wilson's son. And nothing can change it. Even that woman called Christy cannot change it. You see, let me just tell you. Take whatever he has told you. That is nothing but the gospel truth. And if there is any problem, don't hesitate to let us know. No, 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 no. At first I'm concerned there will be no problem. I've already told the maker what to do immediately he gets back to Lagos. Yes. Eh, I've told him. Fine. Don't worry. Fine. Chrissy. Go ahead. I'm suddenly behind you. Ha. Eh? Oh, Chrissy. Ma boy, I'm going to be here, Madoka. Who is she, after all? Okay. Emeka, I'm sorry. Yes, Chief Wilson. You are welcome to my palace. Thank you, you are welcome to this kingdom. As you step your feet in this kingdom, your father's land, so shall blessings continue to follow you. He say, he say, whatever thing you lay your hands upon shall prosper. He say, Any man planning evil against you or death against you shall die for oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, That person must die. Blessings shall continue to follow you all the days of your life. He say, it shall be well with you on Neke Day. He say, it shall be well with you on Ori Day. Say, it shall be well with you on Afo Day. So shall it be well with you on Unko Day. Igwe! 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 Madam, I invited her to have this discussion with you since the young man has left. I have listened to your story. And I see absolutely nothing wrong with the request that young man is making. Uh, by the way, let me ask you. The day your husband brought him to the house, who did he tell you he was? Well, he introduced him as a son. Not just a son, his first son. Uh, oh, oh, really? He introduced the young man as not just his son, but his first son, right? And when he told you that, what did you say? I didn't say nothing. Uh, you said nothing. That means you accepted what he said. So, how come... Your husband got sick and you did not inform the young man. And when he got wind of the fact that his father was sick, came to the house to see him, you refused to grant him access to see his own father. Uh, by the way, for how long has this man been sick? Your husband? Just five months. Just? Just? Five months is just for you. Five months is just for you. No. This man has been sick for five months. You did not take him to the hospital. You locked him up in the house. 
and refused to grant anyone access to see him. Woman, you are evil. You are evil. But for the pleas of that young man, I would have brought you up and allowed you to rot in the cell. However, I am sending my men to accompany the young man to see his father. After that, I don't know what to do. Now, please, be my I don't understand it, Mom. So this whole thing has been going on in this house and no one even said a thing. Even you, Chuka. How does it even sound to you people that Dad has been sick and no one told us anything, not stop one of taking him to the hospital? Ada, you traveled to the US. There's no way we could have reached you. So what if I've been in the US? So then what I am asking you? What excuse do you have not to tell me that daddy has been sick? And what excuse do you have as the first son of this house not to take him to the hospital? What is even going on here? Mom, please say something because I am losing it. You ranted. I did not know what and do not speak till I'm done. You are free to take your father to the hospital now that you've returned. That's if I decide. But meanwhile, I'm waiting for the police. Emeka has reported. Let the police come with Emeka so that Emeka can see his father. Let the police and meet us it. in the hospital, Mom. Because I'm going to take my father to the hospital right you away. You heard what Mom said. The police will be here with Emeka to see Dad. Don't push it. You can't even do anything as a man. I see you as a chaff. And even if I am going to stop, I will do that for the respect that I have for Emeka. <laughs> Let me see you walk out. So I okay. have the guts to arrest your mom. Mm -hmm. Well, the battle line. 